Hello, everybody. Sorry, uh, no stories today. Uh, I've been running around with uh, Charlene with her injury. Um, she had to go get uh, more MRIs last week, and it uh, turns out she has a herniated disc and a bulging, di bulging disc in her back and her hips displaced. So she's in fucking rough shape, you know? So it is what it is. So we're just running around, orthopedist, car. She's got therapy now and orthopedist and all that stuff. About to run the Publix, get some uh, Publix fried chicken and rotisserie chicken. You know, she's just in a lot of pain and it sucks and you know, she really, really can't, can't um, do this, do her server job that much because she's in so much pain. So luckily, she has enough to do with the uh, with the business, with the with the window cleaning business, setting it up and all. But that that's been keeping her occupied. But uh, yeah, she's in rough shape. But a couple people got a couple emails from people asking me what happened to the um, the the gamer video yesterday that growl that Grawl Quest thing. And, you know, the first thing I'm gonna say about it is I thought I had cut off the part of, you know, how much he was gonna offering to pay or whatever for the video. I, I didn't even realize I was there. And then what I later realized was that, that there would do that. And this is my fault. And again, I fucked up. This is my fault, but it's also part of the reason why I run the channel the way I do that you know that he was bouncing rough drafts off me or whatever it was and this I gotten this three months ago and I confused confused his story with another donation that 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 came in at that time and I and I had fucked it up so you know and all I'm gonna say and look I'm not getting into the back and forth or the whatever, but, you know, I fucked up that part of it, okay? There were other things in that video and other things in dealing with that were just red flag city that it's just better to take it down and move on and not, and not deal with it, not deal with that anymore. Um, you know... It's just, it, I, I'm going to say this because I'm going to want to just keep this very short and sweet because it's a very short trip. To, this is what I'm going to say about the entire gamer community, okay? If you spend your time and you spend your majority, okay, playing with children's toys and living and, and, and dealing with products that are meant for children, okay, they're marketed for children, even though there's adults playing, they're marketed for children, so even if you have games that are now marketed for adults, when you're living in that world for years and years and sometimes decades and decades now, okay, you think like a child, you go through life thinking like a child with a childlike mentality and having and, and, and having an inability to understand boundaries and to understand any social norms whatsoever. That's just the reality. And I know there's gamers and I said, miss me with it. Miss me with it. The toxicity, a big part of the toxicity in this freaking, in, in this society, you could trace a lot of it to the gamer culture. Okay? These tantrums you're seeing from the left 
and from these children, literal mental children in the street, are the exact same freakouts you get when they lose a fucking video game or they don't get their way, or they can't play their video game, or the internet goes down and they can't play. It's the same rage out. Why? Because you have been living in a world that is marketed to children. So if you're going to market to a child, you think like a child. And when you have, like what we heard in the story yesterday, and I'm not saying, and I don't think the story was untrue, Okay, when you're using children and you're marketing towards children and you got children in your in your community, you start thinking like a child and you start living your life as an adult like a child. These games and before before it was the video games, it was TV and entertainment that is taking the place of parenting. You can thank the boomers for that one, too. I mean, you can thank the boomers for that, for not raising us, putting us in front of a TV, and for many of us, not so much me, okay, because my, because my fucking parents were notoriously cheap and, like, like, just denying shit, okay, but other people, they let you get immersed in these video games so they didn't have to deal with shit and they didn't have to raise you, and... And a lot of times, and most times, you can spot these people, they have the thinking capacity of children. A child doesn't understand boundaries. A child just wants to tell you what they want to tell you, no matter how many times you try it. They're a child. They're a child. So, so you give them a pass. What do you do when these people are in their 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s? What do you do? So again, the thing with the video from yet yeah, that's was on me. It was on me, but I mean it is the reason why I say send me one email, one email when you want it read, and let me know if you're gonna if you want to sponsor or if you've made a contribution. That is it. Okay? And again, I even though I've said it a million times, I still take responsibility for this one, but you know. I have to trust my gut when it comes to when I see these fucking red flags from people. And again, this is on me, this one. This one was on me. I screwed it up. I should have verified it. It had been a while. I had needed the break. Okay. It's this, you know, it, it's on me. So that's what that, that's that. But again, with the gamer culture, those of you who have children, who have kids, I'm not saying take it away completely, but you need to really limit their freaking access because there's monsters. There's monsters on, in, in those communities and it rots their brain. It makes them think that it makes them think like children and it gives them a false sense of accomplishment for playing a fucking video game where they think they're like gods. They think they've accomplished something in life and they haven't. And that's why they walk around angry, demanding, not, no, no boundaries whatsoever oh, and, and, and where we're at. So... <clears throat> Pulling up the Publix now. So, I'll be back tomorrow with, with, with more videos. I got, got, still got a bunch in the queue. Um, only one new story's come in. So, hopefully I'll, I'll get some more. And again, I get it. People, people are losing their jobs. The money's not there. People, you know, people are resi resigning from their jobs for, we know why not trying to get thrown off or anything but you know these are these are the times we live in this is what happens when you don't stand up to communists when you give them an inch because they do not stop they will not stop so be back tomorrow um 
Charlene's got more physical therapy tomorrow, all that stuff. So she goes like three, four times a week. That's usually in the middle of the afternoon. So I'll be posting videos t tomorrow morning for sure. For sure, and then pro probably later on after we get done with her stuff tomorrow. So that's where we are. Um, if you want to get something in, you guys know what to do with the links. If you want to support the channel, please do. You can sure use it right now. Um, and again, I understand if you can't. I fully understand if you can't because that's the world we're living in. Can't even imagine what people are doing outside of Florida right now. I don't even know. I, I lose my mind. All right, everybody. Let me know what you think. I hope to hear from you, and I'll talk to you all soon. Take care. Bye.